Hello, hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of Nuclearius. Um, today I'm gonna show you a very quick thing. How to fix this problem? As you can remember in the previous episode I was having a leak. Uh, and I noticed, uh, especially when you're opening the secondary uh, turbine or third one or whatever, it start to leak a uh, coolant systems, uh, steam generators and condensers. Now it is uh, slowly like leaking, but it's probably evaporating. It's not uh, leaking even. So I found a solution for this. If you have the same problem, uh, I might say that first check. So where I start is make sure you open all of the valves that you need. This is very important, especially when you're opening the secondary, uh, the turbine, let's say the second or the third, the same case. Uh, so make sure everything is open and then the most important part is go and check all of the valves manually. So what I mean is go to the, let's say, reactor hall and the turbine hall and uh, check all of the valves uh, manually because for example for me uh, this valve is, was partly closed partly open so it was around here so what you need to do is click bypass like this and then turn the wheel to open it when you're using it and then of course bypass off because you need uh, to move it uh, manually later and guess what I did in the in here I checked all of the valves then I went into the turbine hall right I know it's long walk but it is what it is so I went to the turbine hall and uh, basically there was three I think valves uh, looking the same like half open half <coughs> closed I think this one was and somewhere else and I did uh, basically open all of them using bypass and then uh, opening them and I fix it. It's no more leaks. So when you're uh, buying a new uh, system, let's say cooling uh, thing, make sure you, clo uh, you all open all of the valves because that might help you in the long run because a uh, refilling system, uh, it's not fun. Trust me. So, yeah, cool, I made a fix and uh, the status is kind of awkward in this uh, station. I producing electricity, kind of stable, I wanted to turn it off for maintenance and uh, the operator did said no, because another power station is off. So that was not cool. Uh, my thing is uh, sleeping here. It's very low power mode at this point because it's getting late. It's at nine. So we are producing very little electricity. Everything is a bit overheating. So I will make a little bit uh, better situation with control rods. Now we are again uh, over producing electricity. Uh, but no worries. Uh, we have a two uh, resistor banks uh, they can absorb a lot of it and uh, now I'm waiting just uh, for them to finish the second uh, trans uh, power transformer but I need still wait like uh, a lot for that so yeah if you have a problem with uh, suddenly uh, fluids starting disappear uh, kind of fast uh, the solution might be just uh, stupid valves so make sure you do check them because then you're gonna thank yourself later now I'm kind of in stable condition and uh, everything is fine so two turbines uh, spinning normally but I am in the low power mode at this point so yeah and everything is starting to wear kind of quickly also make sure not overheat your uh, overpressure your vessel around 160 if you still uh left your heater on 
uh, there's gonna be a big power surge and the power station will start producing a lot of electricity so probably it will start uh, producing a lot of steam so you don't want this basically anyhow so this is gonna be kind of short video because I wanted just to find a solution because it's very difficult to find tutorials on the internet because um, the developer decided just go to the uh, discord and uh, write an info about it so I thought I'm gonna make a video about it so this is gonna be kind of it if you find this useful don't forget to click a like uh, subscribe and share buttons and I guess we're gonna see you in the next one. Have an absolutely fantastic day, everyone.